Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you for watching our video today. Uh, this lovely patient's come through with bilateral wax occluding both ear canals, so really feeling blocked up, uh, not hearing particularly well. Okay, so we've got a piece of wax. It looks nice and soft on the outside, sitting just in front of the, uh, so just inside the ear canal. Okay, it should mm -hmm. be easy enough to remove. Let's take a look at this one as well. This is the worst one. This is the me. worst, yeah. I think the reason for that is this one is a little bit more sticky. Okay. And there's only a small gap above it. So what's happening is when your jaw's moving, the outer part of the ear canal is flexing and changing mm -hmm. in shape. So when it's doing that, the um, wax then is kind of sticking and sticking against the canal wall. So oh, right. when the gap's there, the sound can get through. But when yeah, it's sticks, because sometimes I have to hold my yeah, earlobe down out. so it opens. That makes sense. Right, so what I think we'll do, let's start with this left hand side first of all okay. then. Right, okay, so as you are there, it's perfect for me. You don't need to do anything special with your head position. If I do need you to alter head position a bit later on, I'll let you know as you go along, okay? Perfect. Okay, so we're going to use the standard size Zolna tube today to start off with this suction. So, what you'll see as we first go into the canal. Just prepping everything ready there. Uh, just going into the canal, you can see that we've got a very sticky bit of wax here at the entrance. So we're just going to get rid of that first, and then we're going to slowly work our way along the canal wall. So you can see us lifting the wax from the corner, just starting to kind of wiggle it up and down. Because it is particularly sticky, this wax, we're just going to use quite a bit of force to, to sort of pull it up and down to detach it from the canal walls, whilst also drawing it towards the outer part of the ear canal because that will help to maneuver it down the canal towards the entrance. We're just maneuvering it so we've got hold of a, a harder piece there. There we are, you can just see it starting to come away. Just really wiggling. So we don't really didn't have to work very deep in the canal for this one. The wax had migrated most of the way out but just stuck at the entrance to the canal. So we're just uh, getting rid of that little piece off the end. Just going back in to take another look. And what we can see here is we've got a really lovely, healthy looking eardrum there. So absolutely perfect. I know, yeah, it would <laughs> right. be nice. I'm going to come around the other side. Then we'll get this okay. Now this one's a little bit wet, so it's a little is, bit more yeah, sticky on this side. It's, really it's a bit more painful, this one. Is it? We'll go nice and gently. It's okay, I'm if brave. You, <laughs> <laughs> if you do feel uncomfortable or any point, okay, you just let me know. Okay, so same thing again. So we're sticking with the standard size ulnar tube here. You can see we're just going into the ear canal. There we are. So just unsticking a little bit of wax at the entrance here. Then working our way down to the right hand side, what you'll see is we've got this very tacky, stretchy kind of wax there. So we're just going to go back in now, just clean the little suction tube out there. Back in now with the ulnar tube gently pulling from either side and what you'll see here is we've got some dry skin so almost like a flap of dry skin has developed here so we're just lifting that trying to detach it from the canal wall you can see it's not really kind of budging too well we've broken a little bit off there what you see me doing there is just basically just flushing the suction tube through and just cleaning the end of the endoscope so we can go back in and get a better view again Okay, grabbing that skin again, seeing if we can detach it. But what's happening at the moment is the skin is flicking up in front of the uh, in front of the camera a lot, in front of the endoscope. I can see there's a little bit of wax further in at these removing, but that skin is just not budging at the moment. Behind this, I'm just going to use a slightly different tool now. Okay. Just um, let's show you the tool. This one. It's what we call a Johnson board. It looks like a little spoon for wax. So this is it here, okay? So what I'm going to do, imagine that's your canal wall. Yeah. I'm going to pop it in, I'm going to tilt it like that, and I'm just going to pull it along the canal wall just to get rid of this flap of skin. What's happening at the moment is every time I go into the suction, it's lifting that flap oh, of skin up. So, so I'm just So I can't get a good view of the wax behind it, okay? So this is just going to help. So we're going to use the Jobson horn just to 
sort of take away some of this dead skin, flatten it out a little bit just so we can get to that piece of wax. You can just see through the gap there, there at the bottom of the canal. So there is a little bit of sticky wax further in. So I'm just working my way around the outside part of the ear canal with the Jobson horn at the moment, just trying to break off any little bits and press some of the rest of the skin towards the edge of the canal, which then allows me to get behind it then with the suction tube without that skin flicking up. So we're just switching back to the suction tube now. There we go, so you can see the suction tube is going in. We're gonna aim for the bottom of this wax, so this really sticky wax, and lift it off the canal. Okay, so you can see we're just starting to detach it from the canal there. There we go. You can see that little bit of dry skin at the base there's got caught in it, so we're just trying to work it over that. Trying to wiggle it off that bottom canal and off that dry skin if we can to try and get out in one piece. You can see it's not budging. It's moved to the outer part of the ear canal now though. We've got a little bit that's broken away. So we're gonna switch back now to the Jobson horn. Because we got it to the outer part of the ear canal, we just switch tools again, aim for the top of the wax, just very gently pushing it behind, just inside, pulling it down to get another gap. Behind again, there we go, just starting to pull it forwards now. There it is. You can see it's very sticky. See how that's flattened out and stretched as we're trying to take it out of the canal, so you can see just how tacky that wax is. So we managed to get a grip on that, there we go. So, we're going to take another look in the ear now just to see what's left behind. And we can see a little bit of dry skin there, a little bit of sticky wax at the base of the canal. So we'll use the suction tube again now. Just clean the end of the endoscope. So back in with the standard sized Zollner tube again. We're going to aim for that sticky wax at the base first of all. So you can see we've got a grip on the outer part of it there. There we go. That's taken some of it away. Just detach that off the end of the suction tube and back in to take another look. There's still a bit more sticky wax at the base and there's still that little bit of dry skin at the top. So we'll aim for that little bit of sticky wax at the base of the canal again. There we are, just lifting it up, pulling it forwards. There we go. And take that bit of dry skin away as well. Lovely. Now that eardrum looks really healthy, really good. It is, you're right. And what we did at the end is because we were taking away that bit of dry skin, we had to kind of use the suction tube just to not scrape across the skin, but just gently press and move it along the skin to try and break that mm. away. It looks lovely though behind that oh, end. It looks absolutely perfect. Do you feel alright? It, it, it's achy a little bit now, yeah. each one, but then it's been clogged for such That's a while, right, so it it's... It's going to feel a little bit strange. Yes, um, it will. Where that wax was very sticky, it was all stuck to the canal wall, so oh, right. when we take that away now, all the skin underneath is, it needs time to kind of dry out a little bit, yeah. it's probably a bit wet. Uh, but it looks really healthy, skin looks good, eardrums look perfect both sides. Oh, so thank goodness for that. Better. Fantastic. Do you want to see what came out? Come on then. <laughs> Let the gruesome bit. Oh, that's all right. So these are the little pieces, like you see. So really kind of sticky. Oh my gosh, almighty. No wonder that in my ear yeah. was sticking close. Oh, definitely. So it was moving and sticking. Oh, we were a bit yeah. broke. Oh, that that's disgusting. Is that normal? That's quite normal, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that colour is quite normal as well. But it's, yeah, it looks, uh, you know, it's... it's Wax can vary in colour, but that, that when it starts to get that kind of deeper brown colour, it gets really sticky there, and that's what was causing the problems. It was it got all migrated down the canal, it had done really well to get in that far, right. but it had just dried just as it got to the, the entrance of the canal and stuck to the canal walls, and that's what was causing the problems. Oh, all right, fantastic! There we are, well done. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already, or you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. And as always, guys, until the next time, take care.